So you'd like to learn about the APA citation style. Well, it was developed by the American Psychological Association and it provides us with clear rules on how to cite our papers. We need to cite to acknowledge the authors whose works we've used when writing our paper. And we need to provide information for our readers to find those works should they want to read them. So, here's how it's done. In the body of our paper, we want to include the author and date when discussing author's ideas or paraphrasing their works. The page number is needed when we're quoting their words exactly. At the end of our paper, we have a reference list of all the sources we've used. It's in alphabetical order, double-spaced, and with a hanging indent which makes it easier to find the full citation for the authors cited in the paper. So, remember to use in-text citation for direct quotes, for summarizing author's main points, and for paraphrasing the author's words. Some things to keep in mind with quotations. You want to place quotation marks around the text copied from those other sources. You use the author's last name, the year, and the location. Could be a page number, or if it's from a web page with no page numbers, you can use paragraph numbers. You always want to place the page or paragraph number after the quote. Also remember that quotation over 40 words are formatted differently, so be sure to check the APA guide for more details. Typically, page numbers are not used with paraphrasing or summarizing. Paraphrasing means restating another author's work in your own words, so be sure that it is your own words. When a work is written by more than one author, pay attention to when you use the AND and when you use the ampersand. Your reference list will contain all the sources you used in writing your paper, so there will be likely many different formats – web pages, books, journal articles. Each of these will have to be formatted according to APA. So let's take a closer look at that. For a book, we begin with the author's last name, followed by just their initials. Then we add the year of publication, and then the title of the book, which is in italics. If the edition is available, you can add that next. Finally, it's the publisher information, which is the place of publication, and then the publisher's name. For a journal article, again, we start with the author's last names and initials, followed by the year of publication. The title of the article is written in sentence case. That means the first letter is capitalized and then the letter after the colon is capitalized as well. Then we add the journal title followed by the volume. These are both in italics. We then place the page range of the article. Finally, we have the DOI, which is required by APA. Not all articles have this DOI, so check the APA guide for further instruction. The citation elements can also be found on item records of online databases and journals, so that's a good place to check if you're missing any information. When citing a web page, be sure that it is a web page and not a journal article or some other format that just happens to be located on the internet. Journal articles must always be cited using the APA journal article citation format. For a web page, we start with the author or a corporate author if there isn't a personal author. We then add the date of the page content. Be careful not to confuse this with the copyright date that is for the entire site. If there's no content date, you can use ND in parentheses. 
You then want to add the title of the page. Again, this is the title most closely related to the content that you are using. Sometimes the tab at the top of your browser can provide a hint. You add the date that you retrieve the information if there's a chance the content might be changed or moved. Finally, you want to add the web page address so that your reader can find the web page. Check your reference list for the following. Your author should be the surname and the initial. Your title for an article or a chapter should be sentence case. That means capitalize the first word of the title and the first word after the colon or period. It's rare that you will have an issue number. It's only used if the journal is paginated separately by issue, which is quite rare. Be sure that your web pages are ready web pages and not journal article or some other format that was found on the internet. APA requires the use of the DOI or Digital Object Identifier. Not all journals have a DOI, so please consult the Mount Library APA guide to see how to treat those citations. This has been a very quick introduction to the APA citation style. Please check the Mount Library APA Citation Style Guide for more examples. On the Mount Library homepage, click on Library Services to choose Citing, APA, MLA and more. And then scroll down to the Style Guide section where you can click on the APA Online Guide. You'll notice that the tabs at the left show the different formats. Click on the format you want and you'll see many examples of how to do the citations. Let's return to the Citation RefWorks page and you'll see that we also have RefWorks and Zotero which can be used to organize your bibliographies. Thank you for watching this tutorial. We're here to answer any questions you may have about the APA citation style, so please contact us at the library and all the best with your assignment.